A former member of the Gambia ex-presidency squad, Aliu Jang expressed determination to speak the truth after admitting telling lies in his earlier testimony before the Truth Reconciliation and Reparation Commission. In his Monday hearing before the TRC, the jungler who began testifying before the commission's break two weeks ago admitted to lying on his participation to the killings and working with junglers on such occasions. Asked about the difference in choice, Jeng responded that he had assessed himself after the false part of testimony and thought that the victims and their family deserve better from him. As to whether you held Arona when he was being killed or not, you want us to believe you instead of Oya? Wow, I'm a last time in your Navi. Yes, you know, last time I came here and I spoke with you. But when I left here, I went and uh, sat down. I uh, had my own reasoning, internal reasoning. Mahalad victims is and family. I thought about the families of the victims. That was why when I returned today, I do not want to say anything to you that I do not know about. That is why today, I came to tell you about those things that I know about. He changed his earlier stance from having no hand in the killings of former president's brother Haruna Jame to actually taking active parts along with Umar Jalo and Sana Manjang. He recalled feeling so emotional when Haruna told them that he did not deserve killing since his crime would only be having advised his brother, former president Jame, to behave well. In my view, he subdued and was calling the names of Allah knowing that he was taken to the forest to be killed. Unlike in his first appearance, Aliu Jeng this time confessed to taking role in the execution of journalist Dada Hydra in 2004 and West African migrants in 2005. From what you know, do you believe that these Ghanaians could have been, these, these West African migrants, could have been killed without the Ayajame's approval or, or, or authorization? No, I don't think, think so. Why don't you think so? I don't think the Solo and others will have the audacity without having any authorization from him. With all these other killings in which you were involved in, do you know who ordered them? All of those orders came from the former head of state. He alleged that all killings were orders from the former head of state, Yaya Jame, knowing that none of the junglers had powers to make such instructions without the knowledge of the president. More than 30 West African migrants, including Ghanaians, were executed allegedly by members of the then military patrol team under the direct command of former president Yaya Jame. They were also alleged to be machineries in mission to topple the government in 2005. Reporting for Africa News, I am Amadou Kanta.